Thanks for Skyloom for sponsoring this video. If you want to try out their Luminar Neo photo editing software, use the link in the description and get 10% off your purchase. Now this is literally the least macro place to take macro photographs and I'm here because Alex is at his soccer practice and I have a little bit of that quiet time and I took my macro lens with me with the hope of finding some early spring subjects. Well, as you can see behind me, there's... Well, there's not a lot to photograph. I also brought my speed light. You know, I don't think I've ever walked on this path before. Now, I did photograph a shy spider, a red spider looking thing, which I don't know the name of. And even if I would know the name, I probably couldn't pronounce it because of the complexity. And a elongated black bug, which again, I don't know the name of. But yeah, those are the three subjects that I got today. And I'm really relying on Luminar this time to give me that up noiseless and sharpened image. So let's go back to the studio and see how we can use Luminar to enhance these photographs. Let's go. So here we are back in the studio. Now it's time to shrink me down and upscale Luminar Neo and try to salvage one of these photographs. So here are my four favorite photographs. The first one is of a spider, teeny tiny spider, an ant right over here, a red teeny tiny spider slash thing, and this elongated bug. Now let's work with the spider photograph. So here are the settings you can see that I've chosen for this photograph as I was photographing. And well, let's first go into the edits page and do the raw development. This is very necessary to get all the highlights, the shadows, the details back from the photograph before we start getting creative. I'm also going to apply some sharpness, the raw sharpness, because raw photographs are typically not sharp. So I'm going to just add teeny tiny bit of this. Now I go back into the catalogs page, I take the edited raw photograph and I put it into the upscale extension placeholder. I'm gonna choose the two times upscaler and just press upscale. Now this is going to take a few seconds to process, but then I get an image which is, well, twice as large, but has the same amount of detail as the original file. So Luminar Neo is actually going to try and preserve the detail, that, that kind of smart contrast little teeny tiny detail. So not just enlarge the pixels, but actually add pixels in between to retain the detail. So the photo went into to the upscale folder and as you can see right over here it's quite big it's actually 12,000 by 8,000 pixels and if I zoom in here to a hundred percent you can see that I have well a little bit more detail actually the whole photograph is bigger but the amount of detail was is equivalent to the original photograph now this is really amazing if you can imagine what you can use this for so let's go into the edit first clean up the photograph get rid of some of the noise with the noiseless AI tool and then add some super sharpness to get as much of everything that I can from this photograph before I get into the creative part. And yeah, wow, I mean, there's like a whole bunch more detail that Super Sharp actually brought back. It is maybe a little too sharp. I would probably not go this far, but you know, it's, it's a big difference to what we had before. Now I'm also going to add some structure using the Structure AI tool, which brings more clarity and more kind of micro macro structure to the image, making everything more three dimensional. So now I'm going to crop the image in with a four by five aspect ratio, like horizontal for Instagram. And and I'm going to crop it in really a lot. Because this is an upscaled file, I can actually crop in a lot, losing the detail, but not losing the resolution as much. And since the upscaler retained a lot of the detail and I've used this sharpening noise reduction tools, you know, I actually end up with a high resolution image, which is, well, more detailed. Now I'm going to export this file into a high quality TIFF, and then I'm going to use the TIFF file, this you know, reconstructed and, and noise free and the you know, high dynamic range image as my base photography edit platform or like base you know scaffolding which I can then go completely creative with. Okay, so this is the original file that we started with and you can see it's not really sharp. It's it's a little bit out of focus and this spider is so tiny and I was shooting with F16 so I have diffraction. And here you have the TIFF file brought back into Luminar and you can see it's, well, it's sharper, more sharper, like a lot more sharper. So let's start with the creative edit. First of all, what I'm going to do is add some atmosphere to the shot by adding fog into the background. First a little bit fog and then a little bit haze and this is going to make everything more, well, more 
atmospheric like. The next thing is, well, I'm going to change the lighting. I'm going to make the light come from the top right corner, but I'm, go I'm going to use sun rays. And here you can see how this works. I can change the location of the sun rays. And as I move them around, you can see that Luminar Neo intelligently, you know, figures out how the light rays should perform. But if I push them all the way up into the corner, I'm going to get this glow of light coming from one direction. Now it's time to add the super contrast where I can control contrast on different levels, the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. This is going to make the image even more three-dimensional. Now let's play with the colors, with the color harmony. This is a very useful tool which adds vibrance but also controls how cool or how warm the colors are. And after that we go into the actual color tab and play with the colors on a different level. I'm going to add a vignette, but I'm going to do this multiple times. I'm going to first add a vignette on the outer edges and then just add another vignette on top and another vignette on top to actually make the subject feel like it's being lit up by light and the surrounding area is going to be darker. And one of my favorite tools in Luminar Neo is the mystical. And you can see if I punch this up, you can see how dreamy the photograph actually starts to look. But I want to add just a small amount of this effect and more on the surrounding and less on the actual spider. So I'm going to mask the spider out with a radial gradient and then close it down and then add another effect, but overall this time. Okay, this is the original file and this is the edited file. I mean, the original and edited. I mean, so much more detail, so much more structure and so much more you know, sharpness, although I did push it a lot in this edit. And this is how you can save an image using Luminar Neo's upscale extension. If you have any comments or questions, leave that down in the comment area. Also hit the like button for the video. This helps YouTube to promote it a little bit more. It also helps me as a content creator. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.